Hey babes. So it is currently 1.15 a.m. on Sunday, Monday morning. Monday, August oh, 29th. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Um, yeah, our plan, our goal was to leave Reno by sundown and be ready. <laughs> but as per usual in prepping for the burn and my fellow burners may know that sometimes things just don't go, hey, what up, Bob? How you doing? But, oh, can I have some, please? <laughs> um, know that things don't always go as planned and you can get a little delayed. And that's exactly what has happened with us and our group today with generator stuff and gas can stuff and other stuff and, Anyway, so we are just chilling and decided to, oh, I'm gonna pause for a second as the car passes. Just pretty much went around, oh, it's really dark, but we went around the trailer and we taped up all the windows with blue painter's tape, all of the crevices to keep the playa dust out like this one. That's the fridge that you hear beeping because we had to turn off the propane which maybe some of you guys know I'm still learning all of this stuff and now I know how to do an oil change on the generator how to hitch this bad boy up bad girl excuse me excuse me bad girl up so yeah this is where we're at babes oh and of course I have to show you this gotta cover the speakers funny hilarious is that we're all like okay we're gonna be ready by sundown and then when we were all together last night and like catching up and those of us who haven't met you know we we're all uh, like meeting and um some people were wrapping up their bikes and everything which by the way I never I never did my bike but that's okay I just I, I think it sounded fun but anyway just didn't feel called to but um uh, anyway, so when we were all together last night, we're like, oh yeah, we'll all be ready by sundown. I, I then was all like, okay, but it's like my personal goal to be ready by five. So then I have that like couple, couple and a half hour window, right? <laughs> what time is it now? Like 1.30? Peace. <laughs> I'm tired. Cassie's worrying about us. She's like, where are they? And we don't have the couch because we couldn't fit the couch. Ah. Playa babes. They're racing each other, these two right here. That's what I'm saying. Well, let's add some more lights in here. There we go. A little better. Whoa! It is 
5.24 a.m. I think honestly we'll be rolling into camp as the sun is coming up. Yes. Yes. We made it. We made it. <laughs> Bottom dollar down tomorrow. Ooh. There'll be sun. Da, 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 da. Okay, so it's about, oh, whoops. Okay, it's about 6.30, let's do this. Okay, sorry, babes. It's about 6.35, we're in line. I decided to, um, ooh, there we go, there we go. These are neighbors in line. There we go, there we go. Now we can see my face. Um, so I decided to get in the trailer and make our bed because we kind of threw some stuff in here. You can see the bed is, <laughs> is still up and I'm loading stuff underneath and organizing it. Um, I decided to jump back here and make our bed. So when we get to camp and we get all situated, we can kind of just pass out because we are going on 22 hours of being awake. So we are tired, but so excited to be home on Playa and to see all of all, see, see all of our people. Um, and yeah, and so I guess the line started moving. So I'm just here bouncing around with all the stuff. Ooh, my gosh, I feel like a little kid. It's Christmas, it's Christmas. Look outside. Ooh. Ooh, oh, look, there she is. Hello, sun. First Playa sunrise of the year. Good morning. Mmm. Babe, oh my gosh. Okay, I have no idea what time it is. Oh, crap. I think we're probably about 7, 7.15. We are still in line. I don't know if you can see. I want to go top the window. Yep, still in line as you can see. But I totally got everything kind of in line. Um, the kiddie pool will be our evap pool for um, when we have to dump some gray water to clear out the tube after the black water uh, tank gets dumped. But um, put a fur blanket and then this is the bedroom I should probably switch views but I made the bed and everything I put some I need greenery like everywhere have some life oh my gosh anyway everything is kind of like dialed in and has its home I need to finish unloading this ice chest but I think I'll wait till we get to camp um, but yeah I'm ugh. I'm so happy because like for a minute I was just going to stay in the truck and kind of maybe just nap for a second because I was so tired but I'm so thankful that I just got up and I knocked everything out and put everything where it goes and um but yeah let me show you the closets okay never mind it's kind of hard <laughs> to open the closets right now we decided to switch out the mattress that it came with and put in an actual legit mattress so there's barely any squeezing or walking room but uh we decided that it was totally worth it because we're not going to be hanging out a lot in the room and this is more for sleeping and when you're on playa getting good rest is absolutely imperative so we decided to just have a nice big old comfy mattress in here and i put up a hat hook a couple here and then one over there for when we have guests and yeah i think we're stocked for days let me do a little mtv cribs fridge whoa we're stocked we got our meal prep steamed rice ground turkey ground beef lettuce bread almond milk oh my gosh i am in love 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 Shabani coffee. I normally am a creamer girl, but this I'm able to drink black. Protein shakes for my babe, as always. Yep, this is where we get a little naughty with the frozen pizzas. And of course, maybe not of course, it's not the best, but anyway, so good. Kind of reminds me of growing up. And then a pantry. This is hard with the pool, but again, splurged on some snacks sodium stuff more protein drinks more almond milk cheez-its 
maple syrup, croissants. We're going to do ham and cheese croissants for one day. Um, we're getting a little blurry, so let me back up. Um, anyway, and this is a slide out, so we'll go out once we're in camp and we'll have more room there. And then I'm going to finish putting um, some crystals up here. And probably um, I have a selenite tower that I'll put right there in the center. So I'm super happy and so incredibly thankful for this playa home. And I'm, I'm really proud of us. I'm so proud of us. Um, and this, I'm so happy. My, my niecey, my little niecey babe made this for me. So I'll be rocking this, this burn. And yeah, I think I'm going to grab my sweater and head back to the truck. Get some water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to safely disembark. Just jump in and roll. I'm so excited. You're going to hear that a lot. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What tops excited? Ecstatic? Bliss? Blissed out? I'm blissful. I'm feeling euphoric. Like home in there, baby. Get up to it this weekend. <laughs> um, nothing much. Just like bar hopping and stuff. We're almost there, babes. Almost to the front. And then we'll go right to Will Call and then come back out and go back in line and then we'll officially oh. be in we'll wait for you yay amazing oh, just make sure to carry your ID and a mask uh, that's what they want you to have at the will call copy thank you everyone if you don't have one So, just went to Will Call and we got our tickets. Yes! Look how beautiful those are. Waking dream. Mm. Leave no trace. Leave no trace, babes. Oh my gosh, look! My ticket says gift. And yours is 475. City, Nevada, Burning Man 2022, Waking Dreams, admit one dreamer. Dreamers in the house. Oh, look at that sun on that ticket, babes. Oh, that's gorgeous. We're just gonna spend the rest of the video here. And on this gorgeous face. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're here through Will Call, went to the box office, got our tickets and our parking passes, and Aaron's going to be able to ring the bell for the first time and scream, I'm not a virgin anymore. Granted, last burn was his first burn, but it was renegade burn and not an organized um, burn by the Burning Man Project. So he didn't get to ring the bell. The fuck is there a bell at? Once we get to the front of the line. For real? For real, there's a giant bell. There's a line of people who are going, we're gonna get out of the car, we're gonna stop. That's why it takes so long. Because once we get to the front of the line, we're going to put the car in park. We're both gonna get out. There's gonna be a person on each side that's going to greet us, that's gonna give us big old bear hugs and be all like, welcome home. And then they're gonna ask if this is your first time or not. And you can say yes. And then you get to go ring this bell and scream, I'm not a virgin anymore. And then we can even roll around in the dust and do Playa Angels. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You gotta do what you gotta do, puppy. Puppy. <laughs> That close? Yeah. Shit. No worry, can you start backing up? Uh, reverse up, okay. Got it, I got it now. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going left. Backing up. And now make beer, a right. Beer. Make a right. Beer, please. Stop. We're good. Yay! Yeah. We made it, we're home! Hi! Yeah, I love your house. Uh, where's the like, How many times can you do that? Yeah, do that every single time. It's a, it's a 12 <laughs> That's great. Whatever you're doing. Can you also do something this way? Yeah. I'm just taking video. Oh, okay. Wait, I got it. But those videos too. Yes. I only have a lot. I don't even lock in the front of the house. Cruises waffles. Um, so we're gonna head over to their camp, do that. Yesterday, um, oh, somebody's here. Yeah, baby. Oh, okay, cool. This is a little funky. I don't know if that's gonna fit under my hat. Um, So yesterday we went to go, um, it was pretty much a chill day, reconnecting with everybody, uh, getting settled in camp, moving everything. Hey! Good okay, close that. Have a new roomie. His name is Mitch. Awesome. More on that later. But we went and uh, worked on um, the Dusty Oasis, Bushy Burner Art Structure, and um, I was just like so out of it, exhausted, tired. I couldn't go anymore because I think at that point I was going on like 36 hours. Because once we got into camp, I just continued the day and everything. I think I took like a 15 minute power nap or something like that, around two o'clock or something. But anyway, and then the sun is brutal this bright day because I don't know what it is, but it is like, ooh, brutal. And probably too, without having a whole lot of sleep, you know, just like knocked it right out of me. But, um, yeah, so while everyone was still working, it just hit me and I was like, 
I got to head back to camp and eat something and just chill for a few. And so I came back to camp and I made myself a little jalapeno and ham sandwich with like lots of romaine lettuce and that fresh crunch. And it was so good, totally at the spot. And had a ginger beer, like the Evertree ginger beers, like that nice little bubbly, refreshing little like strong spicy hit of the ginger, you know, it's just like cleans out the body and then lay down and actually went to bed. I woke up around 10 a.m. this morning, so there wasn't any adventuring on ply or anything like that. Um, but need the rest so we can keep the week going and all of that stuff. So anyway, that's the update. Gonna finish getting ready and whatever you gotta say. You want a bite of something? Baby, you got this. You try on my bike? <laughs> you got this. I know you do. Call me any beat. Except for me. That's the kind of gear I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of gear I like. That's the kind of gear I like. That was fucking perfect. <laughs> Children, get down now. Days. Just got back to camp, went across Playa, had an awesome adventure, which I will share, shed, whatever, share more later. Sorry, a little out of breath. Aaron and I had a little bike race um, as we were coming back into our neighborhood, but I had a realization while we were biking. I heard this, uh, this man speaking Spanish. I think to me. I don't know if it was to me, but it looked like it was to me. I responded in Spanish just naturally without thinking about it. And um, it felt it felt really good. And I had this huge realization that part of my throat chakra healing um, is me is me speaking Spanish and gaining my confidence and knowing that I can speak it and that I do know what I'm saying. And because growing up, I lived in SoCal and Spanish was something that I was around all the time. And so I understood it and it was actually part of the curriculum uh, um, at the school that I was attending. And then we moved away to one of my parents' dreams, um, to one of my parents' dream places that they had planned on living. They're huge manifestors. And so they made that happen, beautiful them. But uh, when that happened, we moved away from so much Spanish and to a place that was pretty much a lot of English. And um, a lot of the kids that I went to school with, then I think just, I'm not using my words. A lot of the kids that I went to school with, I will say, okay, we moved to a place, there was still Spanish around, but it was primarily English. And the Spanish speaking population, um, the kids that I went to school with, 
Um, I lost some, some of my Spanish. I lost that comfortability. And so the kids that I went to school with who were native Spanish speakers, they would be all like, oh, that's, that's your last name. So like, this is part of you and you don't speak it. You don't know it. And I got a lot of judgment from that. And then when I would speak and I would mess up, there'd be a lot of judgment and those little looks, you know? So it's all like, okay, so I'm not one of you and I'm not totally fitting in with the English speaking crowd. And so I just became probably more muted, more quiet, therefore closing my throat chakra. And um, anyway, and so I'm just realizing after that moment and speaking to that guy and so freely, and maybe because too, just not expecting that it was going to happen, um, you know, I just didn't get in my own head about it. And it just came out so freely and awesome. And it felt beautiful. And um, I can like almost cry right now with that realization. And I just, it's just like more love for Burning Man and this beautiful experience. Um, that it creates because it literally provided such an opportunity a moment for me and if you're open to it and if you surrender and you have a beautiful like you can if you surrender to it and you're open to it you can have a beautiful experience and with that because I feel so free here and feel so open I heard somebody speak Spanish and so I spoke right back without getting into my head no problems It feels so good. It feels so good. Cause like that's, it's a part of me. And I think like it was a huge piece that I just figured out. Like if I'm, it's like I just un unlocked a thing. And like, we always talk about like our inner child, right? And that's totally a thing for sure. But for me, this is like my inner teen. And I feel like that has been tapped on majorly bigs over the last few months is my inner teen and all of these experiences that I had growing up. And so I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. It seems so simple, but that little piece right there, huge, huge eye opener, huge eye opener. Because it is something from my roots that I've always connected with. Hearing Spanish, that is so comforting to me. And being able to speak it back and not feel questioned about it or judged for it is huge. It's huge. Because when somebody's going to judge a core piece of yourself, like how can you judge something that is me, right? So me gaining confidence in a huge core piece of me Game changer, game changer, ultimate thanks, ultimate thanks right now. Uh, I apologize if my words have been a little whatever as I've been trying to figure out this feeling, but it's been huge and I am so thankful. And to that man who started speaking Spanish to me that created that space unknowingly, <laughs> he won't know what he did for me. And I send the ultimate vibes. So. Tenga una buen día, mis amores. Everything you need is inside you. Changed my life. 2018, first time I saw it.
attempted to do it, but my ball said no. I refused. Hold on. Oh yeah, that hurt. <laughs> So good, baby. Making it with love. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Okay, now it's fresh. Not for good. Very well. Hey, gorgeous. Everybody, I want to thank you for coming here today. We're here to celebrate two of my favorite people in the world, and I know your favorite people in the world. Already when they get there. Do you know where you're going? She knows for following Cassie. Oh, I know where I'm going. So I can take you out. Yep. Take your time. We have time to go. I got a watch right on the right there. Yeah. It's right okay. There. You'll see a big, you'll see a big box in the room. Okay. I know exactly where you're going. So. Caterade lemonade stand.
Thanks, man. I saw him video. Okay, let me know your feelings. <laughs> today between some playa songs, songs that sound like playa, desert tunes I would call them, and then also playing some more upbeat stuff. It's hard to know what everyone's energy is like right now, but whatever it is, just uh, stay safe, stay awake, and take your time to get out of the city. Let's play this. This is a song which I think encapsulates Burning Man uh, to some That's extent. Cool. Signal to noise here on BMIR 94.5. It's really awesome. Somebody walking around handing out water? Mm -hmm. So nice. So we have been in line for Exodus for about four hours. Um, I jumped in the driver's seat, so it is now my first time driving this big old beast and towing our trailer. And we're just kicking back. Aaron's been napping and I've kind of, I've taken over driving and then I'm sure here in a little bit we'll switch. Um, yeah, I, it's really <laughs> a moment that I wish I had like downloaded some stuff on Netflix or Hulu or more stuff on YouTube because the content I downloaded on YouTube, while it is magnificent, I just don't know if it's my vibe right now. Um, but yeah, Ooh. I can't tell you babes how much I can't wait to get home and take a nice hot shower and eat some food. We're really craving pizza. We're really hoping that we make it back um, home in time to get pizza and kind of just lay up in bed after some hot showers and fall asleep to a movie. But let's be real, we probably won't even make it like five minutes into the movie, we'll be out. Um, but yeah, we're just here kicking back, listening to BRC radio and uh, 94.5 FM. And I have to say, this is the longest I have ever listened to BRC radio. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, just hearing other people's experiences, other people asking for rides home, asking for help on Playa, moving their art cars, um, whatever it is. Uh, but this gentleman, uh, this person in front of us who's... Uh, in this truck um because we're all parked here in massive lanes or massive lanes well they are massive but like i don't know there has to be like 10 lanes it feels like so we're kind of like all blocked in so we're all parked right now and he um he opens his door and he pulls out a violin and now he's sitting on the roof of his truck just playing the violin and it's so nice <laughs>
that's where we're at right now. And we're just snacking, snacking, snacking. I'm so wiped, I can't even. Yeah. So, anyway, cheers to the rest of Exodus. Vibes to all of my burner babes trying to get home. Take care. Be safe. Let's not rush. I know that we're excited to get home and get off Playa and all of those things, but some of, some of these drivers are not being the most safe. We should not be switching lanes the way that we are and charging and speeding, trying to catch this little pocket, you know, before this other trailer rolls up on us. So let's chill, babes. Let's chill. Getting somewhere five minutes sooner, 10 minutes sooner. Is it really worth it? No, let's, let's all chill. There's already been a few accidents today. They had to close the gate. So anyway, I would just, I'm putting out vibes and energy for everyone. Just taking care, taking it slow, taking it nice and smoothly, and we'll all get home soon. A crowd has formed of cowboy hat wearing one wheelers. <laughs> Such a fun vibe, keeping the burn going. That's cool. Thank you for the entertainment as we sit here in line. Appreciate you. Stop.